But what if I told you that self-charging electric vehicles already exist, not as a distant dream or theoretical concept, but as a working technology in 2025? It might sound like something out of a sci-fi movie, but I assure you it's real. This innovation is so advanced that it makes Tesla's superchargers look outdated, rendering traditional EV brands like Tesla and battery swapping stations unnecessary. At the center of this groundbreaking development is an African inventor, Maxwell Chikombuzo, whose work is sending shockwaves through the automotive and energy industries. This isn't just a small prototype. Reports suggest that a fully functional midsize SUV and a high-performance superbike have been developed. There are even whispers of an aircraft powered by this revolutionary self-sustaining system. Motorcycles symbolize freedom, but that freedom comes at a cost. Fuel expenses, maintenance, and the rising costs of charging electric motorcycles. EV motorcycles were designed to alleviate these problems, but they introduced their own challenges, such as limited range and long charging times. Imagine if you could ride endlessly without ever refueling or plugging in. That's exactly what Chikambuzo's technology promises, and it's happening right now. The impact of this innovation could be profound, especially in regions where motorcycles are essential for daily life. In Africa and Asia, bikes aren't a luxury, they are a necessity for millions of people. Farmers could transport their goods without fuel costs cutting into their income, and delivery services could operate without worrying about energy expenses. This isn't just about convenience. It's an economic transformation in the making. However, such breakthroughs inevitably face resistance. The energy industry is built on consumption and corporations profit by keeping people dependent on their products. If a technology emerges that removes this dependency, you can expect pushback. Oil companies, gas stations, and battery manufacturers will try to suppress, discredit, or even erase it. Maxwell Chikambuzo's journey has been anything but easy. As a high school dropout from Zimbabwe, he was told his ideas were impossible. Scientists dismissed him, corporations ignored him, and at times his safety was even at risk. But he never gave up. He remained committed to his vision of a world powered by limitless clean energy. With now Africa his work is set to disrupt multiple industries. Take his self-sustaining electric vehicle, for example. Its defining feature? It never needs to be plugged in. It boasts an unlimited range, zero emissions, and can even serve as a power source for an entire home. But that's not all. He has also developed a high-speed racing motorcycle that never needs charging, a self-powered television that operates without electricity, and an off-grid energy device that generates continuous power. The science behind his technology is called Micronic Energy, which, according to Chikambuzo, captures and converts radio waves into usable electricity. This concept has intrigued and baffled scientists worldwide. If this technology is both real and scalable, it could render conventional energy sources obsolete. One of his most astonishing inventions is the wireless, self-powered television. Unlike standard TVs that require power outlets or batteries, this device generates its own electricity from radio waves. This could be a game-changer for millions living in areas without reliable electricity, providing them with access to entertainment and education without ever paying an energy bill. Then there's the green power off-grid machine, which produces electricity without the need for solar panels or a connection to the power grid. It could serve as a sustainable energy solution for both rural and urban communities, significantly cutting electricity costs and reducing dependence on fossil fuels. And of course, there's the self-sustaining rack motorcycle, a high-performance machine that doesn't rely on traditional charging methods. If mass-produced, it could redefine personal transportation worldwide. However, the most disruptive of all is the self-charging electric car. Unlike traditional EVs that depend on charging stations, this vehicle continuously generates its own power, completely eliminating range anxiety. It can reach speeds of up to 220 k h making it competitive with some of the best electric cars on the market. But what truly sets it apart is its affordability. Chikambuzo estimates that it could be manufactured for just $114,000 per unit, making it far more accessible than most EVs available today. This car isn't just a means of transportation, it's a power source. It can supply electricity to an entire home 
acting as a backup generator during outages and lowering household energy costs. Because it doesn't rely on lithium-ion batteries, it avoids the environmental and ethical issues tied to rare earth mineral mining and battery disposal. However, here's the harsh reality game-changing technologies like this don't always receive the recognition they deserve, especially when they emerge from unconventional sources. If a major tech corporation had developed this, it would be making global headlines, receiving government funding, and being hailed as the future of energy by the media. Instead, because an African inventor pioneered it, there's skepticism and silence. This isn't the first time a disruptive invention has faced resistance. History is filled with brilliant minds whose groundbreaking work was ridiculed, suppressed, or erased because it threatened powerful interests. The pattern is clear. Whenever an innovation challenges corporate dominance, it is dismissed as impossible or impractical until it becomes undeniable. That's why we must demand transparency, ask tough questions, and ensure that this technology gets the attention it deserves. The current energy system is built on scarcity and dependence, locking people in a cycle where they must pay for resources that should be freely available. But what if we could break free? What if energy was no longer controlled by a handful of corporations but was accessible to everyone? The implications of Chikumbuzo's work extend far beyond transportation. If his technology is both real and scalable, it could lead to a future where developing nations no longer have to rely on expensive imported energy. It could mean households generating their own power without being tied to a grid. It could mean an end to an industry that is profited by keeping people dependent on finite resources. However, those who benefit from the current system won't step aside easily. They will use their wealth, influence, and control over the media to suppress this technology. They will dismiss it as a hoax, bury it in bureaucracy, and try to convince the world that such change is impossible. But we know better. Innovation comes from those who refuse to accept the status quo. That's why it's essential to support independent inventors, amplify their voices, and challenge the narratives pushed by those with vested interests in maintaining control. The future of energy is at a crossroads. We can either continue down the path of dependency or fight for a world where energy is abundant, sustainable, and available to all. The revolution won't be televised. It will be shared by those who dare to challenge the system and demand something better. So what do you think? Are self-charging EVs the future? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Autogrob for more groundbreaking tech content. See you in the next video.